The Premier League Visit Football Assessment Programme is primarily to help the clubs improve their, their fan experience, um, which is actually a, a real challenge at times. There are many, many fans coming through the, the turnstiles. There are capacity crowds of up to 78,000 and actually demand is very high and we wanted to have a program that would help the clubs improve that fan experience looking at the tiniest detail from purchasing tickets how many times how many clicks they make to purchase that ticket to queuing through on, on, on catering and food and beverage right through to leaving the day and the match day itself and and the follow through the clubs actually staying in touch with their fans so that they repeat the experience again. The key takeaway from setting up any assessment programme would be that you, you bring the clubs and your businesses with you. So for us at the Premier League, we made sure that the 20 clubs that were involved in the programme had input into the programme and had that, self, that whole buy-in process so that they, it was a, a process that had been developed by them for them. So that would be a very, very big takeaway point for me. We also know that the programme has improved the customer experience considerably over the last nine years. And three key points from that would be that it's actually got buy-in from the top of the organisation. It's important. If your CEO thinks that it's important to improve the fan experience, it's important to everybody. I think the other thing would say I would say is that bringing the team around the table to discuss the, uh, the outcomes of our visit, and it has healthy debate all the time, challenging each other to improve that fan experience. And thirdly, it has to be led by somebody in the club in the business. Somebody has to take responsibility of the assessment programme and say I'm going to challenge everybody to do their bit to improve the customer experience. So some of the things we look at on match day and the tiniest detail that we look at to take away and then talk to the club about. So for example, everybody struggles in the 15 minutes of half time. There are thousands of fans trying to buy food and drink. Uh, when we have our team there, the assessors, they're in the queue and they're, they're doing exactly the same as a fan would. But we're looking to see what if there are any issues, if the, if the queue is moving slowly, why is it moving slowly? And there are many reasons why a queue will move slowly. It could be that the staff don't know how to use the tills. It could be that the products have sold out. It could be there's no queue management and therefore nobody knows who's next in the queue. It could be they can't see menus from where they're standing. And of course, if you can't, you get to the front of the queue and then you start to make your decision. So every time something like that happens, you're losing at least five seconds on the, on the, the queuing time. And therefore, you're losing money as a business. So it's the tiniest detail that we then reflect back to the club and look at solutions to, to overcome those. The great thing about a, a seminar conference like this at ESMA is that it brings clubs together, it brings people who are working in those clubs together to share best practice. Visit Football has very definitely been about sharing best practice. Yes, there's innovation there, yes we learn new things, but we like to share it. We, each club isn't in competition off the field, only in competition on the field. And actually what the Premier League want to do is just have the best fun experience they possibly can for everybody that comes into the clubs.